friends, hello. It's circle time, don't you know? So find your letters, sit in place, and put your listening ears on. Ready? Turn them up. Hello, caterpillars. Hello, caterpillars. Hello, caterpillars. How are you today? Hi, caterpillars at home. It is Miss Lacey. All right, friends. So let's go through who's here today. Roll call. Are you ready? Is Anna Blake here today? Hi, Anna Blake. And is Ben here today? Hi, Ben. Is Cecilia here today? Hi, Cece. Is Drew here today? Hi, Drew. And is Eloise here today? Hi, Eloise. Is Francis here today? Hi, Francis. Is Dylan here today? Hi, Dylan. And is Margo here today? Hi, Margo. Is Owen here today? Hi, Owen. And is Theo here today? Hi, Theo. And is Campbell here today? Hi, Cammy. And is Rio here today? Hi, Rio. All right, friends. I'm glad everyone is here today. So before we go over our rules, let's go over our weekly theme. Our weekly theme this week is um, insects. And so that is like caterpillars like we are, or ladybugs, or ants, or flies and things like that. Um, just little creatures that crawl around or they can be like really big creatures. Um, so I have a book for us to read today. The Crunching Munching Caterpillar. And then I also have a, another book that I want to read with you. It's Winnie the Pooh Colors. So I thought we could go ahead and get started. But before, let's go over our four caterpillar rules. Are you ready? Our first rule, number one, is our walking feet. Walking feet, walking feet. Let's all use our walking feet. Our second rule, number two, is our calm hands. We take off our rough hands and we throw them away. We put on our calm hands. My calm hands are here to stay. Calm hands are here to stay. Our third rule, number three, is our listening ears. We put them on and we turn them all the way up. Our fourth rule, number four, and our final rule, caterpillars, is our inside voices. When we are inside caterpillars, we use our inside voice. But Miss Lacey is outside today, so I can use my outside voice. And I apologize if it's a little loud. Um, I am outside. <laughs> so let's get started. And I also want to sing um, a couple songs with you today as well for circle time. But I think we should get started with the crunching, munching caterpillar. Are we ready? The crunching, munching caterpillar. Caterpillar was always hungry. For weeks he crunched and munched his way through the fresh, juicy leaves of a blackberry bush. One day, Caterpillar was about to crunch onto another leaf when crunch, munch, crunch, crunch. Bumblebee landed beside him. Buzz, buzz. Wow, said Caterpillar. How did you get here? I have wings, said Bumblebee. Look. Oh, I'd like some of those, said Caterpillar. Bumblebee flew up into the air and buzzed from flower to flower. Buzz, buzz, buzz. I'd love to fly like that, said Caterpillar. I'm sorry, Caterpillar, said Bumblebee. You need wings to fly. I guess so, sighed Caterpillar. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Bumblebee flew off to the next bush. Watching Bumblebee fly made Caterpillar very hungry, so he crunched and munched until it was time for bed. Crunch, munch, crunch. <gasps> Caterpillar woke to the sound of birds chirping and whistling. Birds swooped and soared in the early morning light. Caterpillar was just about to start munching when... Sparrow landed beside him. 
When the sun began to set, Caterpillar wrapped himself in a leaf to keep warm. He was just about to go to sleep when... Butterfly landed gracefully beside him. Oh, I wish I could fly like you, sighed Caterpillar, but I don't have wings. Butterfly smiled. Who knows? Maybe one day you will, she said. But now, little Caterpillar, you should go to sleep. Look, you are very tired. Oh no. Butterfly was right. Caterpillar suddenly felt very sleepy. As Butterfly flew off into the night sky, Caterpillar fell asleep into a deep sleep. He dreamed he had wings soaring above the tall trees. He dreamed he was flying, drifting towards the sun. He dreamed he was as light as a feather floating in the breeze. See Caterpillar? When Caterpillar woke up, he felt the warmth of the spring sun. He was stiff from his long sleep, but he did not feel very hungry. He stretched and stretched. Wow, said young butterfly. I'm flying. I'm really flying. Say wow, friends. All done. The end. All right, friends. So I thought maybe we could read um, this little book right here and learn a little bit about some colors today too, along with our weekly theme. So are you ready? Winnie the Pooh colors. Christopher Robin has a treat. Lollipops for his friends to eat. A green one for rabbit and a red one for Pooh. An orange one for Tigger, and a yellow one too. That makes two lollipops for Tigger. Purple for Eeyore, and Piglet gets pink. Can you say pink, friends? Say pink. A brown chocolate pop for Kanga, he thinks. Blue is the color for Little Roo. Gold butterscotch for Owl. That's who. Christopher Robin likes gray. One's the best. Now the treats are all gone, but two colors are left. What could they be? The black of umbrellas, the white of snow. Just look at all of the colors, you know? All done with that one, friends. Alrighty, friends. So, I thought today we could learn a new um, song for Insect Week, for our weekly theme, um, about a bumblebee. Are you ready? Three, two, one. I found myself a baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I found myself a baby bumblebee. Ouch! He stung me. I'm caring for my baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm caring for my baby bumblebee. Ouch! He stung me. I'm letting go my baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm letting go my baby bumblebee. Say bye bumblebee. All right, friends. Thank you for doing circle time with me today. Um, reading some books. 
um, reading a book for Insect Week and singing our new Bumblebee song for um, Insect Week. And I had fun and I hope you did too. And remember, as always, I love you. You did a fine job. You did a good job. So give yourself a pat on the back. You did a fine job. You did a good job. So give yourself a pat on the back. Bye, friends.